Hello everybody, Sanyo, engineer, MBA, and investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about the breaking records from Tesla for the year 2021, the year that just passed by. Tesla released these numbers just literally 15 minutes ago. This is breaking news. The C's are breaking records. I want to talk about all that in this video. Now, before we jump into today's video, you guys know the drill. You guys know exactly what I'll ask you like this video smash that like button destroy that like button guys really it does help the channel if you've not subscribed yet please consider subscribing hit that notification bell and if you want to go a step further you can always join the membership of this channel under this bit meet this video by clicking the join button so tesla released this today like i said 15 20 minutes ago tesla q4 2021 vehicle production and delivery numbers and this is the standard. They always do that for every quarter before they end up obviously going through their quarterly earnings and their financial numbers. Uh, a few weeks prior to that, they always publish their numbers. And basically in Q4 here, they produce a total, a total worldwide of 305 and 840,000 cars, right? So, and if we look at the deliveries, we're looking at 308,600 vehicles in total. But the most important figure here is the 2021 part here. We're looking at 900, a total production of 930,422 produced cars and 936,112 delivered vehicles around the world for the year 2021. This is almost a million cars produced slash delivered. But again, these are breaking numbers, never been happened. Tesla is the EV leader in the world. Despite what uh, President Biden has to say, Tesla is the leader. They have led the way. No other company has done it. No other company are actually doing it to this scale. There may be promises. Some companies may be publishing PR. They may be going on interviews saying it. But this is the only company out there in 2021, 2022 that are posting these numbers of pure electrical vehicles delivered around the world. These are breaking numbers, guys. These are just breaking numbers. Q4, amazing numbers, over 300,000. And guys, 2022 will just be crazy. People don't realize this, right? You know, the Berlin, Berlin and Austin factories, they're coming online both in 2022. They've already started some things here at, as 2021 ended. But they'll be full scale by end of 2022. We can expect them to be running at a reasonable scale to start pushing and pumping out vehicles. So that's Giga Berlin and Giga Austin, two different cities in two different continents, delivering and producing the best, best vehicles of Tesla in 2022. Because don't forget, the Fremont factory was version one. And then you look at China factory, that's version two. But Giga Berlin, Giga Austin or will be version three, which means, again, like Elon Musk said, the real product is actually the production factories. It's the product that makes the products, right? And you got to remember that sentence because that's how you sort of scale out to become the leader, the leader in a space where it is so hard to penetrate, right? Legacy autos have so many anchors. There is no way that they can catch up to these numbers anytime soon. You will be lucky to even have Ford, GM, Toyota, Hyundai, whatever company you want, right? By 2025, within the next three years, you'll be lucky for them to even have a fraction of these numbers, right? And because these are pure EVs, these are the state-of-the-art vehicles, most mileage, most efficiency, best products around the world. And by then, by 2025, who knows what Tesla will be doing, right? Tesla bought robo-taxis, right? We saw what Mayor Francis from Miami has always retweeted in the past about having a robo-taxi in the city by 2022. I truly believe this will happen, right? I think 2022 will be a huge year for Tesla. We haven't even talked about the Tesla semis. We haven't even talked about the cyber trucks, which obviously been delayed, but you can expect that to go on. And it's just amazing how in a time of short, 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 short supply, right? You saw the shortages. You saw what happened with the supply chain issues. And Tesla, while every other company, including including um, manufacturing type of companies, not related in car deliveries or car productions, all been hit hard. You know, Tesla literally, you know, because they're integrated vertically, right? Because they do their own software, because they do their own, 
their own like hardware and the old uh, assembly, they're able to sort of sort of uh, modify certain variables depending on the different inputs externally. For example, if you have a shortage of X, Y, Z part, then you can make it in the software and you can, because you're so vertically integrated, you can tweak software firmwares and you can tweak things around where you can sort of adjust your numbers based on that shortage, as opposed to comp legacy autos, dinosaur companies like Ford, GM, Toyota, Mercedes, like all these production factories, they, they're not able to compete with that. And that's because they're not even competing on the same platform, right? EV is so different than combustion engine, guys. This is not even an apple to apple comparison. I'm not even gonna say it's apple to oranges, it's completely different, right? We're, this is not this is not a this is a different ball game, right? To me, I, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm comparing like yellow books and your phone contact. That's how I'm comparing EVs to combustion engine. That's the point I'm thinking, right? So imagine my opinion about those dinosaurs slash legacy autos companies, right? I think they're doomed. I think this decade, many of them will be posting many losses and you'll see this is an innovation dilemma, dilemma they're facing and this will be hitting hard. There's a reason why companies like Rivian, Lucid are coming up, Xpeng, you know, Neo. I truly believe that this will happen. Let's take a look at some reactions here. Let's take a look at Twitter here. Dave Lee, obviously a big, big fan of Tesla and posted, whoa, Tesla smashed Q4 delivery numbers with 308.6 vehicles delivered. Q4 is in a few earnings, is going to be insane. Record revenue, record margin, record profits. Congrats to everyone at Tesla for never ceasing to amaze. So breaking records, amazing news here. And this is a great, great way to put it, right? I think, you know, as you post delivery numbers, records, produ production numbers, record, you can sort of predict that you know, the earnings call, you'll be posting more revenues, more record margins, and hopefully more record profits. Obviously, there's a lot of things that matter here, depending on how they expense and so on. But just the general, general gist of things, just the way previous earnings were, you know, as you produce more numbers, as you pump out more vehicles, you can basically post more revenues. And that will obviously look really, really good on the balance sheet and on the income statement. And obviously, obviously, we all know how Wall Street thinks they want to look at numbers. They want to look at financial numbers, not at particularly at these numbers, although these numbers should be a great foreshadowing. So expect the stock on Monday, tomorrow, uh, less than 24 hours to pop, right? I really expect it to explode, right? So they were making, we're waiting for your live reaction video. I'm making coffee right now. Actually talking about coffee, shout out to my, to my sisters for getting me this cup of coffee for a Christmas gift, beautiful gift. Thank you very much. I forgot to give them a shout out last video. Uh, so quite a nice tweet there. Let's take a look at Reddit here um, in Tesla Investors Club. Guys, this is a massive beat of epic proportions. Is a 308.6 delivery K deliveries is a plus 27.9 quarter over quarter growth, 167% annualized, 70% 70.9% year-over-year growth. This is unprecedented beat for Tesla. I am speechless, right? Almost a million. We didn't hit the million, but guys, this is just a figure, right? Next year, we're going to break and we're going to go past the million. Holy shit, this is just a huge beat. Uh, over 930K in a single year. Holy, wow, congrats. A lot of holy uh, talk here, eh? <laughs> Uh, beautiful numbers. I'm really, really happy for all investors. Congratulations to Tesla, obviously Elon Musk, but more specifically to Tesla for posting these numbers. It takes a lot of effort here to navigate through these times. Short, short, like I said, the the supply chain issues, the shortages and employee shortages, including right, don't the, the labor shortages. We've all seen what's going on around the world. These are amazing numbers. Again, Tesla is the only one vertically integrated at this scale. They're breaking records. Congratulations to all, all investors, including myself, obviously. This, uh, this is something we all expected when the year started. And this is basically us having a proof that our beliefs and our discussions and everything we've heard from podcasters and YouTubers like Dave Lee, Rob Maurer, all these guys on, on, on YouTube, even on Twitter, like Omar and so on. They, they've been always, they kept repeating that, right? They keep repeating that. 2021 will be a huge year, and this is exactly a testament of it. So when I tell you that 2022 will be even a bigger year, you will have to you will have to look at how 2021 went. Giga Berlin, Giga Austin, and again, we can't take anything for granted. Tesla still has to execute. 
there's a lot of job to be done. 98% of vehicles on the roads right now today as we speak are still combustion engine. Only less than 2% of vehicles are actually electrical vehicles, right? So just think of the potential, guys, the semis, the, the, the cyber trucks, right? Think of all the potential. And this is just with vehicles, right? We didn't even talk about the energy side of the business, the robo taxis. We talked a little bit about it. Obviously, Tesla bot, which is the prototype is expected to come at the end of this year. Probably will be delayed, just like we've seen in the past. So let's just stay focused on the mission. There's a lot of potential here. If you're not invested in Tesla, again, this is not financial advice, but I highly advise you guys, highly advise you guys to educate yourself and to understand why there's a competitive advantage or many competitive advantage of this company compared to every other company that Wall Street and legacy investors may put other companies in the same branch as Tesla. Tesla competition is much bigger than just legacy autos, guys. Big tech, right? Software companies, uh, robotics companies, all right? We saw the robotic company by Boston Dynamic, right? The competition with Tesla bought at this point, right? The energy side of things, right? Governments, right? Their expansion in China, right? Their, their, their introduction maybe in India or UK as a next factory, but negative as a version four, right? A lot of things to come. Obviously, their battery production, 40, 46, 80 cells. That's another topic maybe for another day, but lots of great things to come. I'm a proud investor here, proud shareholder. I know many of you are. Congratulations to all. Let's end this video like this. Smash that like button. Destroy that like button if you found value. Subscribe if you haven't. Guys, leave me a comment below what you think about these numbers and what you think about 2022 Tesla. Let me hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I'm going on a flight to Pakistan tonight. So this is going to be another topic for another video. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see each other in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.